Welcome to Paper Crafting with Rebecca. I'm Rebecca. Today I thought I would just share some information, a little mini haul, and then answer some questions that I've received to try to help out. Um, first, let's talk about my haul. I went over to Charlottesville to the Tuesday morning over there, and I generally like to poke around in their clearance section, and boy did I find something you are not going to believe. If you have a Tuesday morning near you, and then maybe they got more of them in, um, or a shipment that they ended up with them. I don't know how they ended up with them, but wait till you see. First, let me, before I show you the big thing, let me show you a couple other little things. I picked up um, this assortment of glitter domes, and I thought they'd be perfect for Halloween. So I'm just going to stick them off into my Halloween box, but I thought they were really pretty. Um, they were normally for the three pack. It says uh, they estimated it at $8.97. I got them for $3, and I thought they were really pretty and uh, nicely made and along with that same idea I picked up some really pretty boutique trims again for Halloween so I thought that would be nice and it says it was normally at $7.99 and I got them for $2.50 but aren't those fun okay now let me show you some other good things they had the Spectrum Noir Sparkle inks, glitter inks, and these are all three crystal clear color, and I run through a lot of crystal clear, so I thought this was really neat, and I had just seen them on scrapbook.com um, for, I'd been looking for them, and I'd seen them on scrapbook.com, and they had them on sale for $18.94, so they're even normally more than that, but scrapbook.com had had them for $18.94 on sale. I got these for $9.99, all three tubs of it, or jars of it. I guess that's not really a tub. It's too little for a tub, but all three jars of it for um, $9.99. So that was really exciting. I would be happy to have that. Now, the other thing I happened to find and I had never seen there before were Gemini Basic Shape dies. And I stood there in the store wondering, oh my goodness, do I really need any more dies? And the answer was no. But then I talked myself into them because it says that the value of them was $16.95. So again, I thought, well, I will go, uh, before I buy them, I stand there with my phone and I check prices. I search them and everything. And I had looked, um, I couldn't find them anywhere that was on sale. I did find them on the Crafter's Companion site. And they were um, like $17 a package, and but they were out of stock. Plus, if I would bought them on that side, I would have had to pay, you know, the big shipping charge, which is fairly expensive with Crafter's Companion. So I was so excited. I found these, and they were marked down to $6.99 per set. And so I ended up with some really fun shapes. And I love how and these cut, the Gemini Crafter's Companion brand dies always cut so clean for me and again I'm not sponsored by anybody I'm not sponsored by Gemini I'm not an affiliate anything like that this is just my honest opinion of Gemini um, and crafters companion dies but I ended up with all these nested dies and I was just so excited about it because I think these will be a lot of fun to use look at all these shapes that they had and again, they were, you know, normally $17, and they're marked down to $6.99. So I felt very happy. And yes, I got some hearts, and I already have some die-cut hearts. But the ones I have are stitched and plain. I don't have any roughly-looking hearts like this. So I didn't get any that I already had, per se. But anyway, here we go. So those are what I ended up with and I had bought one of each and this one is a these these three have eight pieces but this one's got 10 in it and this one has 11 in it and I just really thought that um, torn edge when you cut that that gives it like a torn edge look I thought that was really pretty so if you have a Tuesday morning near you you might want to check and see if they had put these in all the stores or not because this is a fantastic deal now, speaking, that was all I got on the haul. 
But I did get a question. Um, on, somebody had asked me on my Twitter about, um, yes, I still use Twitter too. You can find me there at Paper Glue Fun. But anyway, they had asked me about um, the uh, Create a Card dies. I had mentioned something about using Create a Card dies. And as it happens, I have four of them. And they didn't understand what they were. So I thought I would just show real quickly what those are. Again, I'm not sponsored. I'm just answering a question. But the Gemini Create a Card dies um, basically is this. It's got, it's a die, um, and you can either punch it, punch it into the paper, and it doesn't really cut it out, or you can put the frame around it and it will cut the whole thing out if you want to have that cut out or if you want to shadow it you can cut this piece out on just a solid piece of paper and maybe this piece on glitter and then you can match them up together and I'll show you a card that's made like with this particular die that I did and how I did this was it's a white card base black piece of cardstock this top piece of paper is um, hand inked. I just hand inked it um, using some lilac ink. And then I used just this piece and I cut out the uh, shape. Of course, it wasn't stuck to the cards yet. And then I put some um, uh, behind that, I put just a piece of glitter paper behind that. And then to make the leaves, I used stickles, and I just very carefully put it inside where the cutout was and actually moved it around with just a little quilting pin to make sure it was in there really well to see so that I ended up with this. And then I just put my hello on there. It's a very simple card as far as it's not got a lot of other things on it, but that's because there's so much glitter here, I didn't want to detract. But it's also fairly easy. It didn't, I didn't have to use this. I could have just put glitter paper behind it, and it would have been really pretty. Or I could have put that on there and then cut it out again and then pieced the paper back into it of whatever color I wanted. I mean, there's a lot that you can do with the um, Create a Card dies that um, Crafter's Companion makes. And I just think they're a lot of fun. Uh, they offer for a lot of creativity of things that you can do because you can make like like they show on the front there that's where they've cut the whole thing out and then they've attached it like the actual flaps of the card or you can cut into it and I'm not trying to sell these I'm just answering the question about what is a create a card die by uh, crafters companion and that's what these are so um, Every once in a while, HSN will have them, or you might see them, you know, I, I would maybe, if you're looking for them, check the Crafter's Companion site. Um, again, but then you have to pay postage on that. So I don't know, just just uh, if you're interested in them, that's what, that's what it ends up being something like, and it's just a die like this. So, okay, that's it for today's video. I hope that you can find some really good deals if you are out shopping. And as I, if you're a crafter, then you're probably out shopping, right? That's one of the fun things about being a crafter is finding all these goodies to make more goodies with. So, happy paper crafting, and thank you for watching.